Rosenberg's wife has made a, was this a Facebook post? Yeah. I feel it's very interesting. You know, um, my lady woke up just crying yesterday. Immediate tears as soon as she woke up and saw that Donald Trump was the president. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend of the family hit me talking about her uh, five-year-old niece. I don't know why her five-year-old niece would know anything about Donald Trump or Donald Trump grabbing people. But the five-year-old niece said, is Donald Trump going to be trying to touch women and grab them? Yeah. And started crying. Hey, Trisha, mm. Um... I heard uh, so some other you told me Sean King had some you, yes. posts from last, women. Last night, Sean King on his Twitter, he was uh, retweeting posts of women all over the country dealing with the most insane forms of harassment. A Muslim woman said she was shopping in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Another, uh, uh, a man came up to her and ripped off her hijab. And he's like, none of this nonsense yeah. is going to continue. And, uh, and Scotty Beam, you were in the streets last night a little bit. You sent us some video. You were uh, seeing the protesters. You took yeah, some video. Yeah, not my president protest. It was really, really dope to and see. There was a lot of people out there. Mostly women? All mostly, types of people? Yeah, mostly women. I saw a lot of uh, white feminists. White feminists. Yes. Because I'm telling you, a lot of white women feel like my wife. They they knew that they were oppressed to a certain extent. I just don't think being they, women. Just being women. But my wife said to me yesterday, she was like, I feel bad because I've always known what that black people go through a lot. And I probably should have done more about it, but I've always known of it. But I didn't know how I felt until right now. Do you want me to read you what she wrote? Absolutely. So my wife posted this, and I posted on my Instagram, Rosenberg Radio. She said... <clears throat> As a woman in America, I have never felt as alone, anxious, or afraid as I do today. And here's why. I'm harassed regularly. Whether it's walking down the street, waiting for the train, or scanning the aisles of the grocery store, I often get a quick, oh, hey, you, or you go ahead, the view from back here is better, from complete strangers. And it happens all the time. Who else around me hears this harassment? No one. It comes in the form of whispers. Quiet comments only I can hear because they wait till no one else is around to say it. It comes in the form of whispers because they know it's not appropriate to say out loud. Well, that is until now. Until our president-elect ran a campaign filled with hatred and disgusting words towards women, treating them like objects rather than people. He regularly bragged about harassing women and boasted about judging them based on their looks and body type. That is why I feel alone and anxious and afraid. Because now, the man who was elected to the highest office in our country has given those whispers a legitimate voice. Now it will have to be my responsibility to make my voice just a little bit louder. Mm. Now, within that, I have 187 comments, many of which are trashing my wife and me for spreading this propaganda as if her feelings aren't real or authentic. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, now, now you're saying all of a sudden that things got bad? Like, not understanding that there's something bad about electing the, the country deciding, 50% of the country decided that they didn't have a problem with what he said to Billy Our Bush country has a lack of empathy for people in general, whether it's women now obviously feeling this way, whether it was Muslim people feeling a way when those words were being said, whether it's black people in the way that black people in this country have felt for centuries, right? Like empathy is a major problem, a major problem, understanding where you want someone to understand you. But you refuse to try to understand them. And right. also, like, you think, I'm telling you right now, you think my wife woke up, as many women did, I don't want to make it sound like my wife is some, something different than most women right now. You think my wife was weeping yesterday because it was fake? She was trying to put on a show for someone in our house? I don't understand. Well, I don't know. What was she trying to prove to me? Your home, yeah. She came home, and I woke up and from my nap, and she was like, hey, I just wrote this. I want you to read it. I was trying to express how I felt. And I was like, oh, you should put that out somewhere. She just wrote that. She just wrote it because she needed to express it. That's right. So I was like, you think that's, I don't understand what you think. You don't think women really feel that way? People mm -hmm. just don't. They want to be understood, but they don't know how to start with understanding themselves, right? Like, if you want to be understood, you got to start there. I want to take calls, though, um, and I want to hear from people that you say are trashing your wife. Because she's spreading propaganda. Because That's, it would be easier, for, easy for us to take calls from women who agree with your wife. That's the because there's the tons soul, of that. I mean, yes. And let's get this clear because I heard a lot. I even heard I saw because yesterday I was just I, I went down this rabbit hole of going to Facebook and I never really go through. I saw people saying you guys are exaggerating. Women are all of a sudden exaggerating. All of this is fake just know, to get attention. Yes. Do you I, know I how many times we deal as women we deal with so much, but we don't talk about it. We talk about it maybe amongst ourselves well, because socially you all have been programmed that it's normal because for so many centuries. It has been normal. So you're taught to deal with it and, and accept it. And if we talk about it and get emotional, we're weak. They said, uh, so one of the comments said, oh, so, so hey, you is harassment now? 
I was like, yeah, yeah, no, women don't want to be have someone quietly come up to them and go, hey, you, who they don't know. That's creepy. That makes someone feel weird and bad. And to that person, let that happen to your mother. And yeah, you would want your daughter. Oh, your daughter. You'd want your like your your teenage daughter, for example, or twenty year old daughter to have some strange man come up and go, "Oh, hey, you. You'd like that." Well, as a man, you can't even stare at me too long without me going, "Yo, what's up, man?" Exactly. And I'm, I'm we we're used to being left alone. Men get left alone. The man that came to check you in the lobby, was it? who was his name? The union uh, the dude. The union dude, yeah. I, uh, his name was Peter also, I think. Some union people was mad at some stuff Rosenberg said yesterday. Which I apologize for. About I him. walked in this morning, he's staring at me. I was like, what's up? Yeah, you feel, well, remember the story I told the other day about the guy who I thought was gay who was hitting on me in L.A.? And he came down and sat next to me. He didn't even say anything inappropriate. He just sat too close to me and started talking to me, a stranger. So women like, get this all the time. All the time. So I want to hear from people now, 800-223-9797. Do you think Rosenberg's wife and women in general are overreacting? Please. I want to hear it. I want to hear that talk. Yeah, I'm Give interested me that talk. to hear. And I think a lot of women feel the same way. I think yes. it really summed up how a lot of women feel. Yeah, absolutely. Just the fact that the president of the United States has made lewd comments, um, and now he's in the highest office in the land. And he's you know bragged about his you know uh, sexual prowess. He's... You know, uh, pass judgment on women's body type, call them pigs. Yeah, even, and, and how it's empowering other men that feel the same way to be open about it and now just lash out and attack women. And if you can't relate to it uh, because you're not a woman, um, just think of it as, you know, like me. I saw Confederate flags that I hadn't seen in my neighborhood or people sending me photos yesterday um, of people driving up towards Westchester. Um, near Bruckner, up in the Bronx, with Confederate flags on their car. It's empowered people to now come out with this negative separatist white nationalist agenda and promote it. Um, if you can't relate to the fact that women feel like they may be under fire because a man like Donald Trump is their president. Um, Chris from Long Island, we asked people to call because we wanted to hear, is our women and women like Rosenberg's wife overreacting? Yes. And why, do you, and why do you say that? Please explain. To, uh, can I start off by saying I've been in the military for 16 years, okay. going on year 17. I spent three years overseas, about to go on another deployment next year. What does okay. that have to do with women? Because the person that was not elected, I have a security clearance. If I did half of what she did... That has right, nothing, to do, but, but nothing not, to do... We're not talking wait, about time that. Come out, everyone. Chris, I'm specifically asking you. It's not about Hillary. Hillary lost, all right? We're, we're beyond that. Yes. That's over. You can let that go now. But you can't. You why can't is why is a country. woman why is a woman who is has heard what Donald Trump has to say, and Donald Trump is now the leader of our country? Why is a woman to feel like uh oh more men have now been legitimized in their behavior because this guy has been made a hero in some regard? Why why shouldn't they? He's not a hero. I, I mean, I didn't like voting for him, but you know the other choice wasn't. All right, forget it. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you calling. Yo, appreciate your service and appreciate you calling, but you're not making a point that has anything to do with anything. Next call, please. <laughs> I'm just saving time on, on Ebro in the morning. Jesus. Next. <laughs> that was a waste. He had nothing to say. It was amazing, though. It was amazing to hear him just not say anything? Well, no, it was amazing to hear him stuck on, he's still stuck on the way he was programmed weeks about ago. Hillary. I know. And to hear him admit that he didn't vote for Trump because he liked him. Right. That's great. Fantastic. Perfect. Yasmin and BK, you think Rosenberg's wife is overreacting? Um, yes, I do. Why is that? Because, hey, you, like, really, come on. I think there are more legitimate complaints from other ethnic groups than for you to be, you know, um, hollered at by, you know, the opposite sex. Like, come on, get real. Now people have woken up and realized the struggles that black people have been going through, like black um, men being shot. But I think that was I her don't. point. Nothing compared. But I don't know. Rosenberg, wow. I'll let you speak. But Jasmine, I think that was her point. Her point was that those were her struggles. And by the way, everybody's struggles are relative. You don't want to demean someone else's struggle. If you, and like I always say, if you want somebody to understand you, start with understanding. Yeah, I don't think the post was meant to go, I know what it's like to be innocently shot by the police. Mm -hmm. that I, and also, and furthermore, here's what amazes me. Why as a woman would you want to separate from other women? Because black women, white women, Spanish women all get that same treatment. So why would you ever want to say, like, separate people? Like, should... Because in the office, my struggles are different, okay? Um, so you just want, so listen, you just want to be recognized that your struggles are bad. You don't want to, you, you want someone to, come, so you should write a post about your own struggles because obviously you have your own and that's real. But I don't see why you would. I am so for Trump. Like, let's, let's be clear. I am for Trump. Oh, no, oh, no wonder. Okay. okay. 
Let's so, be clear. And, so, and you're for him because? Because I like the fact that he's very brutally honest. You can't be upset with a man for voicing his opinion. That's what the... But how are you upset with a woman for voicing her opinion? Because that's what you're doing right now. Congratulations. You played yourself. It's that her opinions are basically irrelevant. Like, come on, get over yourself. So what if someone is calling at you, trying to holler at you? How are you dismissing her personal... This is her personal struggle. We all have our own personal struggle. But as a woman, how are you dismissing how she's feeling? Ma'am, ma Yasmin, ma Yasmin, 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 as we've heard with many Trump supporters, wow, and, and there's so a lot scary. of them out there. Lack um, of empathy? Of, often, often, the psychosis you guys suffer from is deep. Because you just, you just said, you literally, Yasmin, Yasmin, listen to yourself. Yasmin, listen to yourself. You're not listening to yourself speak. You want somebody to be empathetic to your struggles, but you don't want to be empathetic to someone else's no. struggles. Well, they haven't been. This is this is the whole point. They have not been. Who hasn't been? Been what? In general, the country. I mean, it's apparent because um, Trump is president that no one has been listening to the. Not even Obama. With everything that has happened with black people, with black men being shot and slain, has Obama done anything? So you think Trump's gonna help with you that? You think Trump's gonna help exactly. that? You think Trump has the answer? So that's my point. Like it doesn't matter to me. You won't, well, but you, you just won't said you were for Trump. Trump. You just said you were for Trump. Yeah, I mean, I said the reason why I'm for Trump is because Thank you. I can't. Jesus Christ. She sounds like so, such okay, an idiot. So far, I can't. But listen, we set them up because we knew that anyone who disagreed with that post was going to be an idiot. idiot. So we knew that. Wait, let's try again. Oh, oh <laughs> You're just God, having fun now. Right. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, now, seven. Hello. Hello. Do you uh, disagree with Rosenberg's wife? Do you think she's overreacting? I don't think she's overreacting at all. Um, because with a certain situation that just happened, I had gone out with a friend of mine. We had just went out for dinner, whatever. It was myself and she's a female as well. And when we came out, there were some guys. We were walking down the block. We were trying to go to our car. And there were some guys in the corner. We ignored them. We kept walking. And um, by the time that we got to our car, they were by where her car was. Mm. And they were trying to talk to us. We weren't having it. We're like, no, it's okay. You know, whatever. So they asked, how much do we go for? Yeah. We're like, how much do we go for? Wow. What do you mean, how much do we go for? So how would they feel somebody like that spoke to their mom or me? You know, I have my daughter. What if somebody was speaking to my daughter trying to tell me that I have to be, like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'm going to let my daughter go out, have some fun when she's older. But what I have to think about that there's also going to be men that's going to be harassing her out there. As well, well, I think, I think um, Rosenberg's people. wife's post is about that behavior being legitimized in some way because that's the president of our country. Now, I will say one thing. I got one. Here's one comment I got just now that I do, I do think is reasonable, which is you do listen to the lyrics of the music you guys play on Hot Absolutely. 97, right? Now and that's, we talk about it. Yeah, now that's reasonable to say that we also need to point a finger at our own culture and the way that we talk about women. I think that is sure. completely and utterly Absolutely. Absolutely. And we do talk about it. We do, and I and I do think, I actually am not going to lie, I think things are going a positive direction. I think, thing, I think if you were to go listen song by song to how things are now versus five, seven, ten years ago, I do think there's a substantial difference.